Hi, I'm CJ and this is my RC channel. Well, the Raven is coming along well. I'm working on radio programming and I wanted to share this with you. The first thing I did was uh, set reverse uh, on the servos appropriately. So the left rudder actually moves the rudder left, not right, etc. And uh, once that was done, I uh, worked on truing stuff up. Now, I want a lot more down aileron than up aileron by default, at least the capability, because I want to be able to use a lot of flap. Uh, so changing the servos, centering positions, um, and then adjusting the linkages appropriately, and then uh, adjusting the travel. As you can see, I've got 70% travel up on right aileron and 150% travel going down and likewise for the left aileron. And uh, let me just throw a little angle gauge on here. Uh, this is something that you can make yourself. I just use a 1 64th inch plywood and a protractor to uh, mark these out at 10 degree intervals. And so if I go up elevator here on the right hand elevator, you can see there is 10, 20, 30, about almost 40 degrees of travel. If I give it full down, I've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, uh, about 75 degrees of down elevator travel. And that is the same on both sides. And to do that, that was just a matter of A, adjusting the travel, but before adjusting the travel, going to and this is in servo setup, going to sub trims and setting the right and left elevator sub trims to 50. And basically what that does is move the, uh, the servo arm rearward on both servos. And that allows for the servo to have a greater range of motion going, I guess, depending on what direction you're looking at it, clockwise, moving the lever forward and that creates the down angle. So that means there's a, a greater range of motion to pull the aileron down than there is to push the aileron up. Uh, so making those changes to sub trim and, uh, and to travel have uh, yielded this, uh, this change, this uh, difference between up and down on the ailerons. Uh, so I'm going to continue on with this process and uh, what I'm going to be doing is setting up different flight modes now and uh, setting up for flaps. So I'll go into that as, it, as that comes up. I've finished the setup on the radio. Let's see. Let me just um, go into the main menu, the system. Okay, let me see if I can get this so you can see this pretty well. Okay, so um, when I went into uh, Model Select, of course I chose a glider. When I went through those setup screens, I chose a um, two servo uh, ailerons and enabled the motor as throttle uh, because I wanted to have that stick active to use it for flaps. And let's see, then I went down into F mode setup and I enabled switches C and D, which is this one and this one, both three position switches. Two three position switches give you six options, which gives you five modes. So when the switch is up over here. That is in the easiest thing will be to show you. Okay. So if you look here on the way this chart works, the top option is all launch. The bottom is all landing. So you've got on the first stick, 
launch, cruise, and landing. And if you're in cruise, you can use the uh, the second switch to give you thermal or speed mode. Uh, so that's how I've got that configured. Um, so, because uh, when you're in cruise mode, you're generally switching back and forth to thermal or speed, and that all goes on one switch. It's two clicks uh, or three clicks up and down on the on the uh, left right hand switch D. Uh, on the left hand switch, I can at any time, regardless of which of these three I'm in, I can switch to to launch or to landing mode. Now, generally, you're going to be in landing mode, launch mode only when you are starting out and uh, and then you're gonna go into uh, cruise mode and then at the very end you're gonna go into landing mode um, so to show you what those do let me uh, back out of this and back into the main part of the radio so I've got the uh, the ailerons configured, and elevator, and rudder. So, uh, let's go into the modes. Launch mode. So, in launch mode, I've got some reflex, about a degree or so. And these are just preliminary settings. I'm just setting this up. And I've got some up elevator. When I go into cruise mode, that basically zeroes out everything to uh, default positions. Thermal mode, Thermal mode gives me uh, two or three degrees of down flap and a little bit of up elevator. Speed mode gives me a little bit of reflex, not as much as on launch, and a little bit of down elevator to keep the nose uh, pointed you know, into the wind and, and uh, get the glider really moving. So then landing, I just dialed in this much as a generic flap amount uh, and a certain amount of down elevator to go with that. Again, these are just ballparks. Um, I'll be adjusting them. And then I rigged up uh, several mixes so that if I pull the throttle stick past the neutral point, so if it's anywhere in the upper portion, nothing happens. As I pull past center, I start getting flap and I can go massive amounts of flap. And this is why I did the servos in the wing. This is what I was trying to get out of this. So I still have aileron action. Since these are all the way down, you only get action on one of them at a time. But if you're in partial flap, you know, as you can see, you get you know normal aileron action. And when you're, when you're in any of the modes, you still have access to the flaps from the stick. So regardless of what mode I'm in and how much how much uh, flap is already in there, I can always dial some in extra if I want. So uh, now just to give you a, a look see at how I did that let me go into uh, well, let's go to the camber presets because I didn't show, talk about that yet. Um, so the uh, the camber presets give launch give mode. the modes. So in launch mode, it's, as you cruise can see, mode. in cruise mode, everything is zero. We've got left and right ailerons and elevator. Launch so mode. in launch mode, um, I've got 11 and 10 that uh, seem to make them an equal uh, amount on the ailerons. Again, that's what launch mode looks like that amount of reflex and uh, some down elevator cruise mode. go into cruise mode go thermal into speed mode, mode. I'm sorry thermal mode um, and we get again um, a little bit of camber and uh, um, some down elevator 
Speed mode. Speed mode. A little down ele the excuse me, up elevator was in thermal. thermal mode. It's a negative number, but that's just the direction that the servo is pointing. Speed mode. So in speed mode, we go um, down elevator, positive number, and uh, again, some reflex. And then landing mode. Landing mode. Uh, decent amount of flap, 215, or excuse me, um, 21.5 gives this amount of down flap and some down elevator to compensate for the ballooning that that flap will create. Um, so, and again, these are just presets. I don't know for sure that these numbers are going to, are going to work in, uh, in the real world. And the mixes. So let me just back out here. go into mixing. So uh, to get these mixes for the flaps I needed to do two mixes. Uh, the first mix is motor to right aileron 100% um, on the uh, bottom half of the stick and I had to add uh, minus 100% offset. Now that basically kept got rid of the aileron effect in other words if it's if this wasn't here instead of having flaps I'd have full ailerons for a left bank so we're trying to convert this to flap so by going 100% here we get that full flap but that doesn't give it to us all in itself it required creating a second mix mix number two I'm sorry, I'm trying to keep this camera so that there's not too much glare on the screen. Mix number two is motor to left aileron instead of the right aileron. And I dialed in some, uh, what this does is it actually affects both of them just the way the other one affects both. Um, what it does is it backs off from 100% flap to both of them moving back just a little bit where the... Um, the servos aren't straining against the, uh, the the tape hinges. It's extended as far as it can go, um, and I didn't want the servos to be sitting there whining. So I just backed this off value off um, until the servos stop singing, and so we go into the flap, and there we have our uh, full flaps, and then. There is a third mix, and this is the motor, the stick again, the throttle stick, that's MOT, to elevator, and that dials in uh, minus 22% elevator to uh, compensate for the ballooning of the flaps. That's going to need to be adjusted one way or another, so I'm going to have to test all these modes, see how, they, how the plane reacts, and then tinker with these settings until uh, they do what I want them to do. Uh, but that is, uh, that's it for the radio setup, at least for now. Um, yeah, that's, uh, aside from um, turning on the, uh, the voice, uh, I wanted to be able to hear the modes as they... Uh, Thermal mode. Launch mode. As they fire off. Speed mode. Cruise mode. Um, I wanted to be able to hear that, so if I'm, you know, fiddling with the, I don't have to look down at the sticks. Um, they're both side by side right here, and um, the throttle is usually going to be in the up position, which is going to be the safe position. That gives me rudder, um, and then I only pull this down when I need to you know, get some flap going, um, other than the amount of flap that come with the various settings. Launch. So I would start in launch mode, uh, both sticks in the up positions. Um, after launch, mode. drop into cruise mode. While I'm in cruise mode, I use this stick here, the second stick, thermal mode. to switch between cruise, speed mode. thermal, and speed. Thermal mode, cruise mode. 
And then when I'm ready to land, I go to the original first stick Landing mode. and drop that down. And that doesn't matter which of these modes I'm in. So if I'm in cruise, mode. cruise and I've changed mode. Speed mode. and I'm in speed mode and I want to land, Landing mode. I just pop this first one down and it goes to land. Speed mode. Thermal mode. And likewise, if I'm in thermal mode, landing mode. you go right to landing mode, one flip thermal of the switch. Mode. So that's how the... the multi-switch position works. You choose um, one Launch mode. position to actuate the uh, the third switch options and uh, so as you can see there's not much there's no change here. If I move this stick when I'm in launch mode landing if I go to mode. landing mode and I move this stick it it doesn't do anything. This stick only comes into play when it's in the middle position thermal mode speed mode thermal mode cruise mode and there we go um, I think this is going to work very nice it's uh, it's going to be Launch very intuitive um, when I'm landed the plane I'm just going to center out the stick leave it in cruise that way uh, everything's lined up in a normal position um, and uh, just leave it there until I'm ready to fly again then Mode. Drop into launch and then after launch cruise mode. drop into cruise right away. So um, I think that covers the setup till now. There'll be general trimming to do of course um, and then these mixels will get adjusted as, as need be. Um, I hope this has helped uh, any of you glider pilots out there who uh, want to tinker with this kind of stuff um if remember that to use this throttle when you are setting up the glider you have to enable here i'll just show you um let me just demonstrate that okay i'll need to what i'll need to do is create a new model. So go into model select, add model, create new model, go to model type, select sailplane, yes reset, okay and then go to sailplane type and God, I hope this is visible on the screen. Um, okay, sailplane type. I'm sorry. Sailplane type. Go to wing and uh, two servo. Uh, so that's two aileron servos. Tail is normal. And on motor, go to... throttle stick and then that throttle stick is now activated and you can use the throttle stick for something else otherwise it's inhibited and uh, you can't do anything with it Launch mode. so there we go um, I hope this video was helpful uh, please click like Please subscribe, and if you are already subscribed and you haven't, click the little bell icon and you'll get notifications every time I launch a new video. Thanks for watching and for supporting my channel.